all right guys so we are here again and our broilers are three weeks yes i said it three weeks on the dot yeah if you have been following you will notice that uh after a week that they came in i took in some turkeys and you can see yeah this is just two weeks old turkey and another one over here going that way uh there are others there are about 10 of them that's another one in that angle so they are like that and the broilers are now three weeks old you can see how they are looking three weeks broilers wow very soon we are going to be checking their weight as usual but i am impressed i am indeed impressed by this and so is this weight thing a show off or something no it's a way to show you what is obtainable and then i'll start to show you what you can do to get these results um you know the beautiful result is just uh, a product of good feed good management good breed and what else can we mention you know a lot of things you know uh the litter has been changed twice in this one there's even no charcoal we didn't have charcoal here and already i can perceive some ammonia just because there's no charcoal there i can perceive some ammonia and even though it's not looking that bad it's still looking good but then the ammonia for the ammonia sake i might be changing it very soon yeah you can see their poop yeah poop is looking good that this one poop here uh can i see another poop and that's one of the things you have to look for you don't just go inside your chicken house and say okay my chickens are all looking healthy you have to keep checking if their poop is healthy yeah you can see another poop over here mostly you look at the corners you look at the hedges because you find them uh, relaxing at the hedges all right so right now we're going to be taking the weights of the broilers they are really looking impressive for three weeks that is 21 days and they are looking like this wow that's impressive so right now let's uh begin to take their weight and um the weight the scale i was using before can't be used again because most of them will not want to stay on this scale so i'm going to be changing to this hanging one over here so we're going to be using this scale over here all right and we have a bucket hooked to heat so i'm going to be dropping the chicks inside and then we'll see what the weight is like all right so let's begin that process so like we used to do before we use this uh flat tabletop uh scale but i tell you if we try to use this one to weigh them they will be spreading their legs yeah they'll be spreading their legs and it will be uh it will be a, it's going to be a tedious uh experience and i don't want to waste time trying to weigh them let me just show you what they will be doing you can see let's see if this one holds up you see you see they will try to be moving out of it and you will not be able to get the weight okay this one is staying this one is staying here okay so but if you want to do that for all the 10 samples that we are taking it may take you longer time than you would want to sacrifice so we will just be using that hanging scale so we are going to get pretty uh the same results we are just going to be faster with that so and as you can see there are legs no leg issue at all there was one that was showing some leg issues at about 10 10 days or so but then after giving calcium supplements the leg issue is gone i can't i can't even trace the chicken i can't trace the broiler now there was a marking i put on the back but i think the marking has faded so i can't really trace it all right so let's quickly go check what we have as the average weight at three weeks All right, so like we used to do, I'm just gonna go around. Again, you don't pick the biggest chickens and you don't pick the smallest. All you need to do is random picking. Just go around and pick anyone that your hand gets. All right, so I'm gonna be picking 10 of them randomly. And uh, let me get the other phone to compute the figures. Okay, so I'm going to use this phone right now to compute the figures where is my calculator 
these beds are shaking the tripod okay so there is my calculator and i'm going to be calculating what we have i just put the phone on the side here okay so we have the first guy and that one says 1245 245 okay plus i'm computing already as you can see here okay and again this scale this type of scale there is there is this uh lock feature so it locks on when it is able to get the actual weight of whatever you place inside so it, the figure doesn't shake so even after removing the bed you have to zero it back to take the next one okay so i'm going to be putting the ones i've done aside so it doesn't mix i'll just put them on one side and i'll do the measurement real fast so you don't mix okay we are done with the first one so let me zero it plus don't fall make sure they don't fall they are fragile this one says one two zero five one two zero five plus okay let me move to another angle and I'll zero it again. This one says one. Okay, let's wait for it to lock. Let's wait for it to lock. Come on, stop shaking. Yeah, it's locked on. One, two, six, five. One, two, six, five. Plus. Okay, we take it out again. When I move to this angle, we are done with three. This time I'm taking two and checking them. So this one is what? One, two, two, five. And I'll take the other one immediately. One, two, two, five and one, one, fifty. One, two, two, five. And one, one, fifty. Okay. So we're done with five, I think. So I'll put it on zero again. And take another one from an extreme end. Yeah. Another two. Okay, zero. This one says one, one, three, five, one, three, five, plus, I remove you, put it on zero. And the next one to is saying, I think it's going to give us one, one, three, five, two. Okay. One, one, three, five, two. So I think we have uh, three more to go. Zero. And this other end. We'll be left with one after this one. Okay. This one is not that heavy. Yeah. Noticed. 970. Plus. One, two. One, two. Four, five. I think we are left to just one now. That's heavy. Mm -hmm. And the last one. This 
telephone says 1195. 1195. Okay, so while we leave the guy inside, I think we are done now. So the total is 11,770. We're going to divide this by 10. And we get 1,177 grams, which is 1.177 kg. Oh, come on. We had 1.177 kg in just 21 days. Three weeks. That's massive. And you know, we, we, we got... We got up to 1,245 grams, 1,200, 1,265. That's close to 1.3 kg already. 1,225, 1,150, 1,135, 1,135 twice, and one of them, very small one, 970 grams. That's massive. That's massive. And you know, you know, in the next video, I'm going to be revealing a couple of secrets to these things and if you are yet to subscribe to the channel you want to hit that subscribe button right away there are secrets to these things and i'm going to be revealing a couple of untold secrets to getting massive weights there's a reason why people get those crazy weights there's a reason and if you don't get those crazy weights you may not be able to maximize your profit in today's poultry farming you know feed the feed is expensive even the birds very expensive in october or thereabouts birds were selling for as high as 550 naira you know that's massive just they would broiler selling for as high as 550 naira that's about one dollar that's crazy so you just need to get the best results before you can maximize your profit so in the next video i'm going to be sharing a couple of secrets to this game to this business and uh, our target is to have these birds out at five weeks plus maximum of six weeks they should be ready and since we are already at three weeks uh we just need about 21 days more for them to get to six weeks and i believe before then we'll have 3.2 uh, kg and more even up to 3.5 kg with the pace as if you are going all right so that's it and it's me again diy hard greek your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner until the next time peace Okay. Come on. It's okay, it's okay.